This video is going to be about my solar shower for my van. I went through several different designs where I had the pressure relief valve and Schrader valve for filling it with air on top where I couldn't reach them before I finally came up with this design where they're on the bottom and easy to reach. So here's how I built this. Okay, to do this project, these are all of the parts and tools that you will need. First you need a 10 foot PVC pipe. You need a 90 degree elbow, an end cap, and on the other end you should have an end cap, but I actually have a cap with a clean out which leaks. I might replace that with just a standard end cap. You need all purpose cement to glue the ABS pieces together or ABS sp specific cement. And because of the screw on top that I have on the other end, I need some Teflon tape, variable pressure relief valve that goes from 0 to 100 PSI, Schrader air valve, water, like a hose attachment thing, an adapter to screw this all together for when I put a hole in this and I th thread this through. I could probably tap this, but I'm a little worried about doing so. I am going to tap this, and to tap that, I need a tap, and I need a 7 16th drill bit to do the drilling. To put a hole in this, big enough for this, I need a hole saw, and to tighten some of this stuff up, I need various tools, and obviously to drill the holes, I need a drill. So those are all the parts and pieces and tools you need, and I have a vise set up to hold the cap while I drill. You also need some drill bits, which I forgot. And the drill bits are for the Schrader valve. So this is a 3 8 inch drill bit. It actually seems to be a little bit tight. So I'm going to use the 7 16th inch drill bit. Perfect. So that's actually going to come up like that. Next thing is I have to drill another 7 16th hole and then tap it. So I got the wrong size T handle for the tap. There's no way in hell this is this big fat end is gonna fit in that little tiny end. I put this next piece together wrong. I forget whether I had the bigger washer on the inside or the outside, but it leaked when I put it all together. I have a leak. That's not good. Fortunately, it all blew apart and I was able to redo it correctly. There we go, all that work just for this to be, and all this to be attached together. So then it all needed to be glued together and I glued it at the wrong angle. <sighs> yeah. So that's wrong. Oh no. Oh no. Crap, oh yes. I did it wrong. I got it crooked. Fortunately, the angle isn't all that critical, so I continued and glued the rest together. Then, after putting the whole thing together, I put it up on the top of the van, filled it with water, and the whole thing blew apart because I had not waited for the glue to cure. So, wait for the glue to cure a little while. Give it a day or two. 
I strapped the pipe onto the van's roof rack using straps that we use for our canoe. These were way too long, which all you need is really a rope. However, I think because the pipe is warped and not straight anymore, it did rotate. And it was hard to rotate it back without totally loosening the straps. My pipe has really warped downward. I don't know if you can tell that. And it's constantly flipping upside down. My first time using this was at a mountain bike festival and the line for the showers at the festival was ridiculous. So I was really glad to have this. Unfortunately, I had no privacy, so I had to rig up something with a tarp for privacy. So somebody commented on my solar shower for my van video and said, I wonder how much water this pipe holds. And if I look it up on the internet, it only holds a half gallon per foot, which only would be five gallons if this is 10 feet, which it's shorter than that now because I've cut it a few times. So I'm filling it up with water and I'm gonna see how much it holds. I hope this is coming out, but this is pretty interesting. That's 50 pounds. I gotta go almost to 60 pounds before nothing comes out. So that's quite a bit of pressure that this water is under. Seeing as this is only five gallons of water, that's probably why I'm able to carry it. This holds. bucket holds three and a half gallons. I have to get up and tilt it. No, it's airlocked, mm. so I have to pump it up. Okay. Oh, what you need I think we've gone over the three and a half gallon yep. line. Yep. So I'm going to dump this. There we go. Well, I'd I have think to say. That was close to seven gallons. Yeah, I'd have to say that was seven gallons in there. So after all this time and expense, that it's kind of disappointing to find out this only holds seven gallons. And I think you'd be better off with uh, five gallon Coleman ones, probably two of them. And you could easily put them up on the roof or maybe hang them from here. And so Jonah, you are correct. However, I think I have one thing that this will do that your Coleman shower won't do. Just wash your bike. Not as much pressure as I thought. We only pumped it up to 20. Anyway, thanks for watching.